perhaps the most successful Zero G champion in ICW's history. Oh, oh. Matt Cross starting off very, very quickly. Didn't even let Mark Coffey take his shirt off. Yeah. In terms of power, it's going to be an even kill. In terms of striking, I believe that's Mark Coffey's game. But in terms of high flying and agility, there's only going to be one winner. Oh, oh look, at, look that. at that. The insane core strength that takes. I've never seen that before in my life. Matt Cross catching his feet. Unbelievably agile is this man, the son of Havoc. That's it, Matt Cross, 37 years of age, coming up in 17 years in this business. Certainly got the experience advantage. Can he make it count tonight? Oh. Big striking blow. It's not going to go on long, ladies and gentlemen. This match, main event anywhere. Matt Cross going to the top rope. What on earth? Can't wheel off using the rope. He's staying away from the strikes of Mark Coffey, nailed him. With that spinning back elbow. And this is the last place he wants to be, is in the arms. Leg sweep. See how Coffey keeps a hold of that left arm. Oh yeah, he's seen Matt Cross bouncing around that ring. Back top driver, perhaps. Yep. Oh! But nice bridge. Beautiful bridge, look at that! And you know, that, that's the sort of bridge, Billy, sorry, that we would not have seen Mark Coffey be able to execute just one year ago. No, that's true, he had a, well, a back and neck injuries. He's actually been doing yoga, training in a very different way. And clearly, it's paying off, well, Mr. That's bridge. It, that's it, another string to his bow. Big chop, smashing through the chest. Oh, and another. And you know, this is really, really good from Coffey. Very early in the match, he has established the pace, he has set the tone, and at this pace, this match is Mark Coffey's. Well, it is the ruthlessness of Mark Coffey that has made him an iconic Zero G champion in the past. You remember the battles of Stevie Boy, Kenny Williams, he can be downright ruthless in that ring. Punishing. Going for a big lariat in the corner. That goes the move, Scary Oh! Ball. Right down. Right in the top of the spine with the neck. It just seems at the moment that everything Matt Cross throws at Matt Coffey, he's just got an answer for it. Big scoop slam. Shades of just justice. Yeah, and you know somewhere Big Brother Joe's going to be watching. Well, watching us very closely. Joe Coffey, former ICW World Heavyweight Champion. Unseen, unheard of in ICW. Making his return to Baromania only moments after Mark Coffey won that belt. And he has heavily campaigned for a shot at that championship. It shocks his party. And it makes no coincidence, I'm sure, that Joe Coffey has been announced as one of the competitors in the WWE UK Championship Tournament. He'll be one to get that momentum. That's exactly it. Two. And we know it seems like there's going to be a match between Mark and Joe at Shug's house party. As it stands right now, but it's Joe Coffey signing a match-by-match -match contract from what we led together with ICW. Well, that's how we Big don't. Big money, Joe. Well, that's how you can never be sure with Joe Coffey exactly what's going to happen. Mark Coffey, knowing the competitor, oh, what that his big brother is. It's interesting, Coffey has been referred to as a hybrid competitor, but so is Mark Coffey. What is M Dog thinking of here? Oh no, we've seen this before. Oh, Coffey did his best to catch him. Well, wisely, the champion getting out of damage, way, getting out of harm's way, rolling back into the ring. Letting Matt Cross come to him. But that. Look at this. Double stomp! One, two. Oh, it's interesting. 
that from that backdrop diver earlier on. Hang on, roll through. Roll through, he's gone. Another double stomp. Straight into a cover, hooks leg. One, two. That cross fighting off Kane because I have noticed he is favouring his left hip. If you watch very carefully, he keeps grabbing that hip. Has there been an injury picked up in the early moments of this contest? Could be in this contest. You know, Matt Cross wrestles a very, very full schedule, a very, very full on style. I mean, inevitably, you're going to pick up bumps and bruises. It could be a consequence of his style, a consequence of his schedule. Oh, he's been caught. He's been caught. Good he even saw it, the glimpse of frustration. That's what comes back. To the waiting arms of the Zero G champion, Big Suplex. Popping those hips, firing his man down. With all the power of an open power bomb. Coffee just trying to make that purr. Pay dividends at the moment. Holy Shammer, perhaps. Nails him with it. Frustration in the face of the champion. It's interesting, I don't like doing parallels between competitors. There's a lot of parallels between Matt Cross and Cross Cody Fleisch. That's a very, very good point. Oh, blasting over the big forearm, didn't get all of it. Oh, Matt Cross got all of that pump kick. Yeah. All throws again. Cutter. Nails it with it. The long drop with the short stop. No. No. <laughs> See how much this match is taken out of both these competitors. Well, you mentioned about how Matt Cross wrestles a full schedule, as does Mark Coffey. But literally, is there a little bit of jet lag in there? Well, we're going to find out because he's getting ready to take to the take to the skies anyway. But he's taking too long, Grange. That's exactly it. For a veteran, this is a very, very silly manoeuvre. The cheers of these fans want to help you when you're trying to go for a three count. You want the championship. You're going to have to fight for it, Matt. Could be going for that shooting star, perhaps. Nope, double stop. Missed it. Red Foreman turned his man inside out. The low down. Night-night, it's over!